Larry of Seven Sage Law School Prep here with another stick figure exam tip. This tip is treat practice exams like real exams. As you know, uh, if you've read any of our other course materials, we place a lot of emphasis on taking lots and lots of practice exams so that you become an expert in the issue spotting exam in law school. This tip is a little bit more nuts and bolts than perhaps some of the other ones. It's not substantive. It's really about controlling yourself, especially if you're prone to be stressed out on an exam. Not too long ago, uh, Poe Bronson wrote a book called Top Dog in which he studied uh, the performance of top performers. Um, and he found that human beings generally have two different reactions to cortisol or the stress hormone. One is that some of us, I think half of the population, tend to perform better, that the additional stress really makes us focused and helps us achieve in a way that we might not if we didn't have stress. The other half of us, and I would include myself in the second half, is that stress can cause the other half of us to kind of lose performance and not do as well. Read more about the details. Go pick up Poe Bronson's book on your own, and he really puts together just a bunch of recent scientific studies, but I found it helpful to know. And you should really know which of these kinds of people you are. These tips that I'm about to give you work for anyone, but they probably are more for those of us who get stressed out and tend to choke Roger Clemens-like in big moments. So what do I mean by treat practice exams like real exams? I mean, very concretely, make the conditions under which you take practice exams as much as possible like the conditions under which you will take your real exams. I have three different dimensions here uh, that I think that that takes place under. First one is time. If you have a three-hour final exam, and you'll be able to see this stuff from your professor's previous exams, do not take 10 hours to take practice exams. You need to get used to the time restriction and the time pressure of only having three hours. Materials. If your final exam is closed book, try to take your practice exam book closed. This is a side view of a book. Closed. Keep it closed. You can go back and study as you need to in between, but when you're on the exams, really just try and stick with the same materials that you'd have access to. Conversely, if your exam is open book and you're allowed to have any materials that you want, use all of the materials freely, although I would say in the end, you will uh, not have that much time to consult your outline on a final exam. You'll have to do a lot of it for memory just to get all the points that you want. Lastly, comfort. Make yourself as comfortable or as uncomfortable as you will be on your final exam. If you have no time to go to the bathroom, try not to go to the bathroom during the three hours that you take your practice exam. If you normally take a smoke break during your final exams, then go ahead and take a smoke break during the practice exam that you're working on. Do whatever it is if you need to take a bath in uh, bong water and sleep on a bed of nails because those are the real conditions under which you take final exam. Take these conditions, make time, materials, and your level of comfort the same for practice exams as they will be on your real exams. This is Larry, Seven Sage Law School Prep.